everybody good morning this is Jean here Jean true love from true love quilts for you and um I just popped into this is Monday morning I just popped into my sewing room my still intact sewing room and was thinking um I want to um, give you guys an update but if you're just tuning in if you're not you know what this is all about but if you're just tuning in um this is not about quilting um I have a YouTube channel about quilting um, I've, I have uh, lots of videos and you can see me do little tutorials. Um, I always say I'm not that professional. I'm not that polished. I repeat myself a lot. So if you don't like that, uh, go somewhere else. Um, but right now I'm not doing any tutorials. Um, as the folks who watch know, I am in the process of moving and that's hence the thing about downsizing. And, um, because we, I like to share, um, a lot of people are saying, oh, share your process. And um, we just very quickly, we just found out about two, two weeks ago today um, that we're going to be moving into a, a smaller home. Um, it's happened very quickly. We're, we're having to downsize our very, very large packed to the brim home. It's going to be a good thing. We have um, our main priority is we have an autistic son, 20 year old son, Maxwell. Again, if you didn't real, if you didn't know that. And he is our absolute 100% main concern with this move. Um, he's, update to you guys, he's he's pretty cool. Um, he's a little bit quiet, um, so, and perhaps internalizing. Um, I and my husband and the family have a very good line of communication with Maxwell. Um, we're allowing him whatever he's feeling. Um, and so far he's like, I'm okay. I'm okay with it and uh, I said okay you would you would tell me because um, he and I especially because I'm with him all the time have a, um, a very very special bond and he's like y yeah I'm just okay I said okay I said that's that's fine his two main concerns are his routine which we are trying to keep as much as possible and also um, the belongings that we are going to be taking we're taking nothing new. Now, the whole thing about this with me and the downsizing process is I have a lot of stuff. Um, I, I have a tremendous amount of stuff. You could call me a controlled hoarder. I've always said that. Um, but lovely things. Very, very beautiful things. Oh, somebody did on one of my uh, a couple videos ago when I announced it. We have a very, we have about five very beautiful chandeliers. We're taking our chandeliers. Let me just tell you, and I'll tell you how that's going to come about a little bit, if you're interested, if not, because um, I got to get on with things. It's Monday. What we did on Saturday is we went over to the house that we are going to be moving into. And again, very quickly, my son has bought a bigger home. He has suggested we live in the, his present home, his current home, which is lovely. Um, it's not small by any means, but we have a very, very large house. We're downsizing to that home. Um, so that's the plan. Um, and it's a rancher, which is a one story, no stairs. It does have, and I didn't realize it, um, because you have to sort of lift up a, la a, a, a hatch, but it has a basement, by no means a finished basement, and, but by no means like a stone cellar. It's a, it's a decent sized basement. And I'm like, oh, it has gotten water in it. So there's a pump in it. We have a dry basement. Um, that, 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 well, we just had some water in our basement and we had to redo it, but we've never had it. That was a, that was a, when a tornado hit. So we're used to a dry basement. This isn't, but, um, but my son was saying, well, we can put th things up on pallets in, you know, big containers. You can store stuff down there. Also, we can put stuff in his office space, whatever for storage. Not a lot though, because the plan is we are going to be taking the necessities. Now I wanted to just show you somebody, I just came down to my, um, computer and I just saw uh, somebody commented why don't you actually this morning or last night why don't you actually make like a, a floor plan and that's exactly what we did on Saturday we went out Saturday morning we do a ministry work on Saturday morning um, and we came home Saturday noontime we went over to the home and my husband is an engineer um, architect by by um, by education um, he's in more of the construction business now but he went over to the house while I had to sleep on their lovely sofa. And he actually drew to scale the floor plan of the entire home room by room. And, we're, I'm, and yesterday, uh, last night, he and I were working fervently on the 
uh, this is my sewing room, which again, if you're tuning in, I'm having a large sewing room. It's about 26 by 20 foot. It's a, a two-story vaulted ceiling room. So this is my sewing room to scale, and I am. We are going to be taking all of my shelving here. Um, if you've seen there, I did a tour of my sewing room uh, many videos back when it was really lovely and really really clean. But it looks the same pretty much. Um, we're taking all of these shelving out again. It's familiar. We're not rebuilding anything. We're not. We're rebuilding. We're not getting anything new. It's not necessary. Um, it, it's not financially viable because why we have all of this stuff we just have to reconfigure it so my sewing room is this um i have i'm taking my my work surfaces here which are like a solid butcher block surface for a cutting table i get a oh um for my my sewing table i should say i don't i i for you sewers i cut on this table with my lovely uh cutting mat which is right here as, as most of you know, excuse me, this is my, this is my Martelli mat, shout out to Martelli. <laughs> this is my Martelli mat, two-sided, two-sided lovely mat. Um, this size is about 37 by 25 inches. Um, I love Martelli mats. Anyway, um, I, I said, I said, um, oh, if we can configure it, because it's much larger, can I have a, a cutting t surface, a higher counter height? Because I have to lean over here. And um, it was interesting because we can't take hardly anything that's in our home, but we have uh, a really nice kitchen island, butcher block, kitchen island. <laughs> and I was cleaning it out uh, with Jen. Uh, she came on Friday. We were cleaning out my pots and pans, and I, I got rid of tons of pots and pans. And all of a sudden, I'm looking at my kitchen island. And we purchased that, oh, when we did our kitchen about almost 20 years ago. We, we did our kitchen over, and it's a fabulous kitchen island. It's a little bit small. So my husband, so I'm looking at my kitchen island and I'm like, I love my kitchen. And my husband my aunt said, well, why don't I add a piece of butcher block to take your cutting mat? Because it's just, a, it's, it's, it's about six inches too, too small. So, so he's going to add just a little lip. So my cutting mat goes on my kitchen island and we can bring my kitchen island. So that's one little bit of my kitchen that I can take. Um, what else is happening? Oh, um, my last video that I did, I have um, in my front, in our front room, I have a, a, a like a old fashioned wooden, very uh, almost Victorian looking sofa and um, a chair and I have a, a, ma a matching love seat to the chair. Well, the, the, the chair, the cream chair that I'm, uh, that Jen is sitting in and you can't see, but there's a love seat on the other side. They were my mother's and my mother passed away 15 years ago. And she loved her. She went into a retirement home, and we had to buy her smaller scale furniture. So we bought her this love seat in this chair, and um, it's it's and it has like a lovely sort of an old fashioned cream with rose pattern. And I took that when she died, and it's so lovely and comfortable and small scale. So we're taking the three of them: the small scale sofa, that chair, and that's going in my sewing room. As you were going to be able to see, we we sort of configured it that I have sort of a half uh, a half sitting area, nice comfortable sitting area, and then my sewing studio with a whole wall. This wall of fabrics will be almost um, tripled, a wall of fabrics. Because I have, I have four walls here full of fabrics and notions and bits, and I only have two walls as it is, um, but they're way high. But the other wall ha has a, it's a, it's one whole wall with just a doorway into the master bedroom. That wall has a sliding door with a, a wall, but, but this has two huge, great big eight foot sliding windows, huge floor to ceiling, beautiful. It's sunny, but I, I lost that wall. And even though it's a large space, I was sort of like, oh, oh my word, I've lost walls. The home we have now are, we have rooms. Um, we do have a large, we did knock a wall down when we moved here. We have a large kitchen family room where we've, you know, but I do have a separate dining room, I have a separate living room, and I have my separate sewing room. Um, so we have walls <laughs> for all my stuff. This is an open concept home. So um, there's been lots of suggestions. So what, what we have done here is we were really, um, this is our living room. We have one living room. Oh, my little sewing room, that's done. It's wonderful, awesome. Um, to scale, 
what I can take. I can take everything in my selling room. My living room, which is this area here, um, we cut out, uh, the, the, we have a, a sofa that I think I said in the last video, Maxwell really is attached to this sofa. And we said to Maxwell, we are taking the sofa. He lays on it every all the time. It's a comfortable, um, I got a nice slip cover for it. Beautiful, stretchy, gorgeous. It looks like it's re been reupholstered. It's fabulous. And then we have a red sectional, a small red sectional um, that he also likes. So I'm thinking, can we get a sectional and a sofa? We can because the room is very large. Sort of a, it's sort of like there's a fireplace here and then the rest of the room. And then we have two wing chairs that will be in front of the fireplace. We have, um, so these are the wing chairs here and the rug and the fireplace and then the sofa and the love seat there. And we had bought, again, we're taking everything that we are, we're taking the things that are very special. When we first got married almost 40 years ago, my husband and I were in uh, London and we bought two uh, Oriental rugs, two red Oriental rugs. Um, and we've had them, the different countries we've lived in. We love our, our red rugs. We've always had red. This room will be red um, with our red sofas and our red rugs. Um, so we, we mapped out the size of our rugs there and the bits of furniture that we can take which isn't a lot, <laughs> but this was much easier than I thought because um, as somebody said, you can, you have to start with a downsizing process. You have to start wrapping your head around what you can't take. And um, I'm finding it very pleasurable to donate. We have uh, many thrift stores around here and I have really nice stuff. And I'm thinking I've gotten lots of pleasure out of it. It's time. Um, and somebody else is going to get a lot of pleasure out of it. So the things, the bits that are uh, very important uh, are coming with us. Again, Maxwell is priority. He has two rooms. It's a four bedroom home we're moving into. He has two rooms. He will have a gaming room, which is very important to him. Um, as Again, if you, don't real, if you didn't know, he has a driving video game rig, big television, a driving rig. It has, it has pedals. It has a shifter handbrake steering wheel it's magnificent it's big um so he's going into that room um with his gaming equipment and his little computer which is right off the living room now he's in the basement um which i don't love i said you I, I want you to be up you know i don't want you to be that kid living in the basement which he isn't he's with us but it'll be nice because the house is much smaller so he'll be closer to us and i think he's looking forward to that and then he has a small bedroom um which everything fits it's really amazing how <clears throat> this is falling in place because it has been extremely sudden and I've had not a lot of meltdowns, but any one of you who have downsized understand um, the, the, uh, the trial and the stress. Um, again, again, the, uh, it's just stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's our stuff. And, um, Somebody said, somebody was, I think they were projecting, oh, sorry, commenter, but like, you're going to regret it and it's going to be terrible and you're going to be sorry for the rest of your life. And I'm thinking, uh, I don't think so. I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. Um, I keep saying I'm an intelligent person. I understand this has to be done. Um, it may be sooner rather than later, but I don't think we'll regret it. As I was saying before, we do things very quickly. And we make decisions. We do the deal and then figure out the details later. <laughs> and it's working out. It's working out. And I have vision. I can see my, I, I can see my new home coming together, uh, decorating, because it's very important to me. So the, the important thing is I had, um, I'm all excited. Our children, our 10 children are, uh, are very concerned about me. And all of a sudden I said, well, you know, how about daddy? You know, like, how is my husband, um, who's a bit older, how is my husband dealing with this? He's very, very amenable and everything is fine and he's a businessman. And, and I, I said to my husband, um, you know, like we haven't really had a chance because it's a, been a whirlwind of, of uh, decision making, but we haven't really had a chance to chat about how do you feel? I know how Maxwell feels. I certainly know how I feel. Our son Elliot is moving out. He lives with us now. He's moving out with, into his brother's home that has an apartment above the garage. Um, I know how Elliot feels. He's excited. Um, I know how some of our other children feel who are sad, but 
you know, you got this mom and dad. I said, Ian, I said, how do you feel about this move? <laughs> when we had a chance to, you know, have a, have a moment's break. And he said, oh, I'm very happy about it. And I thought for a second, I'm like, are you being disloyal to our home? He said, of course not. He loves our home. Our children have been born in this home, four of them. Um, he said, and he got rather, <clears throat> my husband is a very calm, not like me, calm Englishman. He's a very gentlemanly Londoner Englishman. I'm all over the place. And um, he got a little bit like, I want to I want to move into a, a rancher and I'm thinking that's the first I've ever heard of it we live in a two-story home we have a basement we have stairs he's fit as anything he's up and down stairs all the time he's up and down ladders all the time he's a very physical fit man um, although he's getting older um, I said what are you talking about you want you always wanted to move into a rancher you never ever said that <laughs> mentioned it here I, I didn't forget but um, his father in England, a rather stubborn uh, an Englishman, had been told as he was about 80 years old, um, n had a bedroom downstairs in their lovely home, was told not to go upstairs. They did have an upstairs. He went upstairs to get something and he fell. And the fall didn't kill him at that moment, but that fall killed him two years later. That was the beginning of the end, that fall down the stairs. And my husband, oh, I had known about that. And my husband, though, I, that was sort of foremost on his mind that, you know, he doesn't want stairs. And he's never, he's never said anything. And we've had stairs. And I'm like, oh. And also, and also um, we live in a, a development here. There's houses there. There's houses there. There's a house. Nice development. Nice, nice develop we have a nice pool and a bit of land but it's in a development where we're moving is uh, um not in the woods it's a large clearing but then all woods around and it's six, six acres and it's the next place is a horse farm and there's a neighbor over here but we can't see them no neighbors on a very quiet road and um he's like i just i just want the quiet and i thought oh i thought our house was quiet but it's not necessarily we have street lights out out front which is fine um, and, uh, you know, two houses over, there's a fairly de decent size, not a main road, but a, a road, you know, 35 miles an hour road, which we can hear at times. Where we're moving is very quiet. And I thought, oh, oh, you know, that's interesting. So he, for, for different reasons than, than me, um, are, are looking forward to this move. And, of course, that's, again, of primary con con concern. And also the fact that our we're not financially burdened at this moment. We're not. It's not a burden, but it makes financial sense to do this move as our as our children are being very generous to us. So it makes sense. So anyway, this was such a good idea. I have it in my mind. What we can take, put our hands to the few bits that I will not part with, but we'll go into a small storage area, uh, which is taken care of. Um, I'm taking my whole sewing room. We're taking everything that Maxwell wants. Um, um, what else is there? We are going to be... I, the, the boys said, why don't you put a time-lapse camera up when you're disassembling your sewing room? Because this is basically the majority of people come here about sewing and quilting, right? I'm waffling on about this downsizing thing. But that's my life right now, so if you're interested. Um, I said, I don't know how to do that. So maybe one of the kids can figure out like a time-lapse camera to see, to show us and then putting back my sewing room, um, which as I get, as I said, was my deal maker. It's wonderful. It's wonderful because I'm, I'm giving up quite a lot of rooms, <laughs> quite a lot of rooms and quite a lot of my things. Then um, we're going to be making home there. And then um, my husband will be staying and tying up the loose ends with our children in this home. Um, but then Maxwell and I um, will be will be will be gone and not coming back, not coming back. I said I don't I want I want to be like Lot in the Bible and not Lot's wife that turned into a pillar of salt. We don't want to look back. We don't want to look back. We want to look forward, and it's exciting. It really is. It's exciting. It's okay. Um, I'm not trying. I'm not having to convince myself. I'm I'm really, I'm really um almost excited at the thought. I am. I don't want to be here when my things get auctioned off. Nah, that's not necessary. I'm going to take what's very precious 
have a last glance. I've taken tons of pictures. Everybody has said that. Um, yeah, and uh, we're out of here. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I just thought you'd be interested in that. My day is going to begin right now. Um, I'll be putting up these little videos as much as I can with my computer stuff, you know, there. And then um, I'll probably have a bit of a gap um, by the time we, you know, until we can get ourselves reestablished. But until then, I'll keep checking in because you people are, have been very kind and um, such nice comments and such nice support for people who are going through this. Um, you know, as I said, there's the whole... You know, it's just stuff, get rid of it. And then there's the whole, oh, you know, I feel for you. I've, uh, I've, I've witnessed people who can't get rid of their things. And to, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, oh, come on. And uh, it's hard. It's hard. But we got this. I just wanted, there was one other thing I wanted to say. What it was that I wanted to say? Um, I can't remember. I can't, oh, oh, no, it's, I, that's not what it is, but I'm looking at my things. Uh, I have a, in, in the middle of it all, do you believe it, I have a craft show, just at a local school coming up. Um, I was going to be making stuff, but then all of a sudden this came out. So I'm going to be making my soft books. I'm going to be ma taking some travel pillows from my shop. Um, I did have a sale in my shop, um, and I sold quite a lot of things. That's still a concern because I still have uh, about 30 quilts left that I would like to sell. But I'm, I don't have them on a sale because right now I can't wrap my head around that. And I gave quilts away. I gave them away <laughs> With, in my sale. 75% off. I gave stuff away. Never mind. Um, so, yeah. So, it's all exciting. This is my new sewing room little, with a lovely little seating area. You will be seeing that. And this is my one little living room, which I'm blessed to have. We're blessed beyond to have this opportunity and this, um, this uh, generous generous offer from our children to do and to help um yeah it's exciting so if you're in a position to have to do this folks you can do this you can do this we got it if we can do it with my maxwell and my dear husband and our family you guys can do it just wrap your head around it wrap your head around it it's all cool okay we will have a good day and you guys too thanks again see ya bye